Ladies and gentlemen, the University Marshal Diane, Dr. Diane B. Waltz has entered the Convocation Center.
to officially open the May 2004 commencement ceremony of the University of Texas at San Antonio with the university marshals bearing the mace and the faculty marshal carrying the banner for the College of Business, please come forward to position the mace and post the banner. The UTSA faculty, university administrators and staff, and our community of UTSA graduates welcome you, our guests, to the UTSA commencement. Will all please rise for the singing of the national anthem led by UTSA student Selena Hernandez and the posting of the colors by the UTSA Air Force ROTC Honor Guard.
It is now my pleasure to introduce members of the stage party whom I will ask to stand and be recognized. Thank you, please be seated. I ask that you hold your applause until all members of the stage party have been recognized. Ricardo Romo, President of the University of Texas at San Antonio. The Honorable Alma L. Lopez, Chief Justice of the Fourth Circuit of Appeals of the State of Texas, who will present our commencement address later in the program. David Johnson, Executive Vice Provost. Rosalie Ambrosino, Vice President for Student Affairs. Dorothy A. Flanagan, Interim Dean of Graduate Studies. Richard D.M., Dean of the Honors College. Bruce Bublitz, Dean of the College of Business. Diane Waltz, Associate Professor of Information Systems and University Marshal. Russell Briner, Professor of Accounting, representing the faculty of the College of Business. Elaine Sanders, Associate Professor of Accounting, representing the faculty of the Honors College. Albert E. Estrada, President of the UTSA Alumni Association. Please join me now in welcoming the members of our stage party. Thank you. I am pleased to introduce Dr. Ricardo Romo, President of the University of Texas at San Antonio. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. I know it's a wet and stormy night, but you all are brave, and I know you wouldn't miss this event. So uh, we're here for one of the most special events of your life. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2004 commencement ceremonies of the University of Texas at San Antonio. It's a distinct privilege to celebrate this occasion with you and your families. You, the students, and soon to be graduates, are the reason we're here tonight. Tonight's ceremony is a special occasion for UTSA as we are also honoring graduates who will earn their degrees in August. Everyone in this building is part of the UTSA family and graduation at UTSA is always a family celebration. This weekend we celebrate Mother's Day and there are a number of proud mothers in the building for this important milestone in their children's lives. Congratulations to them. Tonight's graduates should all be proud of what they accomplished. So I want to begin my remarks with a simple and heartfelt congratulations to each of you. UTSA is changing. In fact, let's give them a hand. This is folks who worked very hard. You know they worked very hard to get here. UTSA is changing. We're growing. As you, as you move on to the next phase of your life, remember your legacy is here in this proud, dynamic university. What we are, what we become, you are a part of this place. Take pride in this university and its accomplishments. They're also yours. Just in the last year, UTSA has added two new doctoral programs in sciences. We also broke ground on the Biotechnology, Science, and Engineering building to your left when you go out. Upon its completion, it will be one of the largest classroom facilities in all the UT system. This fall, we'll open more on-campus housing at Chaparral Village. In fact, 1,000 beds in all. We will also open more classrooms, lecture halls, specialized teaching labs, and academic support offices. And I know you'll be happy about this. And in one month, we'll begin building a parking garage for students at the 1604 campus. Yes, more parking. 
A land swap with the city of San Antonio will provide downtown campus room to expand. We're pleased that our basketball team made it to the big dance. And that's it. What a, what a special occasion. And we were the host institution for the 2004 men's Final Four. Our softball team, the women's team, lead the nation in home runs and is preparing for its first NC2A regional tournament. Academically, UTSA's research efforts and community outreach programs are at record levels. UTSA's greatness, your greatness, is reflected in all these things. It is reflected both in its graduates and the faculty who have prepared you for your futures. I'd like to take this time to thank the members of the faculty, UTSA faculty, who have guided, nurtured, and motivated these students. Will the members of the UTSA faculty please stand and be recognized? Our faculty, please stand. Thank you. Let's give them a big hand. Thank you so much. Thanks for what you do. This commencement also honors the family and friends who have been the most spectacular in accomplishments we recognize today. That is, they've been the spectators, more than spectators. They've been active participants in these graduate achievements through their patience, encouragement, and sacrifices. We want to publicly recognize and thank you for the role you played. So let me start with the parents. Will the parents of today's graduates please stand and remain standing and be recognized? Let's have, it, let's have the parents stand up first. Great. Good to have you all here. Good to have you here. Now, I'd like to ask the children and the spouses of today's graduates to stand and be recognized. Wives and husbands and kids, please stand. There's a lot here tonight. All right, get ready. Will the grandparents, grandchildren, aunts, uncles, cousins, godparents, and others who have a special relationship with these graduates, please stand. All right, if you know them. For each of you, today is a special day, and it's my hope that you will leave this university well prepared to achieve success and happiness. Walt Whitman once wrote, a foot and lighthearted, I take to the open road, healthy, free, the world before me, the long brown path before me, leading wherever I choose. For you graduates, the road is open and the possibilities are endless. Choose your path with sound mind and kind heart. Regardless of your path, I hope that we have lit a fire in you to succeed in wherever, wherever you go, whatever you do after leaving UTSA. And as you pursue personal success and achievement, I also hope you continue your relationship with UTSA. Walt Whitman also wrote, a leaf of grass is no less the journey than the work of the stars. Whether it's through volunteer work, the Alumni Association, or your career, you're always important to UTSA. We need your help. We need your help so that UTSA can become the state's next premier institution of higher learning. Thanks to you, UTSA is a great university. Graduates, again, I offer my congratulations to you and wish you much, much success. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Dr. Romo. Albert Edward Estrada received his bachelor's degree in history from UT Austin in 1982, and his bachelor's of business administration degree in finance from UTSA in 1983. Albert is vice president and commercial lender for Sterling Bank. He became the 25th president of the UTSA Alumni Association in 2002. Prior to becoming president, Albert served two terms on the board of director. 
was treasurer of the board and chaired the Association Scholarship Committee. He is a life member of the Alumni Association. Mr. Estrada will now greet the May graduating class on behalf of the association. Thank you. Congratulations. Welcome to the UTSA family of more than 59,000 graduates. As president of the Alumni Association, it is my privilege to be a part of the commencement program this evening, adding my words of congratulations to those you are hearing today from faculty, family, and friends. I want to send a special congratulations to Stephanie Rendon, who's a member of the Student Alumni Association, who will be graduating this evening. Stephanie, we're going to miss you. This commencement is a beginning, not an end. Over the past several years, you have worked, studied, practiced, played, and through it all, you have grown. Now, you're ready to begin your life as a college graduate. For some of you, this will mean more years of study and preparation. For others, you'll be starting a new career path or advancing one that you've already begun. Whatever your course the future takes, it is my sincere hope that you will look back on the years here at UTSA as having prepared you to meet and deal with the challenges that life will present. Please keep in mind those special people here who have helped you along the way. Let your teachers and professors know how you are doing in your lives and careers. Nothing is more rewarding to an educator than to know that he or she made a difference in a student's life and gave them the opportunity to achieve their dreams. As your time and means allow, give back to your university. Stay connected to UTSA. Mentor a current student. Make a gift. Volunteer for a campus event. And by all means, join the Alumni Association. It is the best way to stay connected to your alma mater and your classmates. For those of you who purchased a UTSA class ring, and I know all of you did, you will be asked to turn your ring around at the conclusion of today's ceremony, signifying to the world that you have received your degree from UTSA. I want to wish each and every one of you the happiness of a productive and successful life, the respect of your fellow human beings, and the love of your families. Immediately following this commencement exercise, I want to invite all of our graduates and their guests to attend a reception that was going to be held outside, but it's a little bit damp, but we've moved it to the University Center, and it is going to be hosted by the UTSA Alumni Association. Again, congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Estrada. President Romo will introduce our speaker for this ceremony. Tonight's keynote speaker, the Honorable Alma L. Lopez, Chief Justice of the Texas Fourth Court of Appeals, has served as a justice since 1993 when she was appointed by former Governor Ann Richards. She was the first Hispanic woman to serve in that position for the Fourth Court, Circuit Court, and in November of 2000, she was reelected to serve another six-year term. A native of Laredo, her family moved to San Antonio, where she was raised and educated. In 1965, she graduated from St. Mary's University with a bachelor's degree in business administration. We may have a few judges there today. Uh, Judge. Three years later, she earned a degree from St. Mary's Law School. As an attorney, Judge Lopez practiced law on her own for more than 20 years before receiving her judicial appointment. In, ad in addition to a judiciary role, Lopez also assists four other appellate court judges in teaching an online criminal law case to students at the University of Texas Law School in Austin, Texas. Active in her community, Judge Lopez serves on the board of numerous associations, foundations, and groups. 
She's involved with the Bear County Women's Bar Association, the Battered Women's Shelter, the Texas Women's Lawyer Association, Texas Migrant Council, the South Texas Higher Education Agency, and many others. Her list of awards include St. Mary's 2003 Distinguished Alumnus Award, St. Mary's Law School Rosewood Gavel Award for Outstanding Judicial Service, and the Mexican American Bar Association Award for Outstanding Achievement. Please join me in welcoming the Honorable Alma L. Lopez as our May 2004 speaker. President Romo, faculty members, graduates, parents, spouses, children, siblings, family, and friends. It is a pleasure to be here with you this evening, and um, I appreciate the invitation to be one of your speakers this evening. I know that standing before you today on this momentous occasion, I can feel your energy and your excitement. I can only begin to imagine the plans and dreams you each are holding in your hearts, and I can only wish that for each of you, they will come true. The reality, though, is that the dreams and goals that you have set for yourself today may not be the same you find yourself seeking tomorrow. Life does have a way of causing us to alter our plans and dreams, and we need to be prepared to have the flexibility to do so. Someone uh, at one time said, a pessimist sees difficulty in every opportunity. An optimist sees opportunity in every difficulty. I hope that you see more of the opportunities and less of the difficulties. You are graduating at a time when our state and our nation are undergoing tremendous change. Our state is facing one of the biggest budget crises that our state has ever faced. Our nation is at war, and our nation's unemployment rate is high. Gas prices are skyrocketing, and we continue to face the fear of additional terroristic attacks on our own soil. Each of these is a frightening event, but each of these events provide an opportunity for new leaders to emerge, and those leaders are among you. Despite the adversities that face all of us, each of you has already taken a tremendously important step. Each of you has persevered and obtained something no one can ever take away from you, a college education. And remember that education is the passport to success. You should take great pride in your accomplishment. Education is a key that opens more doors than you can ever imagine. My education and my goals allowed me to achieve who and what I am today. And without those two items, I know that I would not be speaking to you this evening. According to one study, employers expect to hire 12.7% more college graduates in 2003-2004 than they hired in 2002-2003. In addition to a more favorable job market, college graduates as a whole have lower unemployment and higher median earnings than those without a degree. Those statistics in themselves show the importance of the step that you have taken. Having achieved this important step, however, it is now important to look to the future. Having experienced a few bumps along the way, I'm sure, in getting to where uh, you are today, I have just a few words of advice. First, set goals. In order to succeed, you have to set goals to reach. Decide what it is that you want to do, and then do it. 
Your only limit is yourself. Do not let anyone tell you that you cannot do what you choose to do. If you think you can, you will. In setting your goals, however, be flexible. Be open to new opportunities as they come your way. Do not pigeonhole yourself and foreclose other possibilities. Your vision for your future today may not be the same tomorrow, and that is just fine. You are in charge of setting your goals, and you are in charge of changing those goals. Second, make wise choices when choosing friends. Choose friends that want you to succeed with your own life's plans, not those who want to choose your plans for you. Friends should encourage you, not dissuade you. Always be open to new friendships. I want to share with you just how important friends can be by telling you how I received my appointment to the Fourth Court of Appeals. A vacancy was created on the Fourth Court by the retirement of Chief Justice Blair Reeves. When a vacancy is created by such a retirement, the governor of Texas appoints a replacement. I decided to try and get the appointment from Governor Ann Richards because we had been told that one of the other justices on the court, Justice Alfonso Chapa, was going to be appointed as the Chief Justice and then his slot would be open. To get an appointment, you need the recommendations of, of people and attorneys, and as I was told, a good reputation with no skeletons in your closet that would embarrass the governor. Two days after I decided to try and get the appointment, I received a telephone call asking me to attend a news conference at the law office of Frank Herrera about immigration officers harassing Hispanics at the bus station. At that time, I was practicing immigration law and I was handling many immigration cases. I had decided not to go to the news conference because I was very busy. I had three cases set for hearing that particular morning, one divorce case, two DWIs, and I knew that I wasn't gonna get through on time. But I guess it was meant to be because miraculously, all of the hearings were postponed. The other side didn't show up on the divorce case. The state wasn't ready on the two DWI cases. So I went to the news conference, and after the news conference, I told Frank, who was a fellow undergraduate classmate of mine and law school graduate, that I wanted uh, to try and get the appointment to the fourth court. Unbeknownst to me, Frank had the ear of Governor Ann Richards. Senator Greg Luna was also at the news conference and he indicated that he would support me and that he would call the senator from the district in which I lived, Senator Judith Zaffarini, who will be one of the speakers tomorrow at, for one of your um, commencement uh, ceremonies. In order to get the appointment, I needed to have the governor appoint me and all of the senators of the state of Texas approve the appointment. As Senator Zaffarini told me when I met with her, if I approve you, the vote will be 31 to zero to approve. If I do not appoint, uh, approve you, the vote will be zero to 31 not to approve you, and that's called senatorial courtesy. The following day, my friend Frank Herrera, after the news conference, went to Austin and spoke with the governor. And imagine how amazed I was that I received a telephone call from her appointment secretary asking if I would be interested in taking the appointment to the fourth court. The next step was to ob obtain Senator Zaffarini's approval. And in order to do that, I was told, get some people that you know and that Senator Zaffarini trusts to call her and kind of talk about you and let her know what it is that they know about you. I was very fortunate to have many friends from law school that I had remained close to, and also very fortunate to have attended law school with 
many people who had become quite successful. One of my friends was Tony Sanchez, who you will recall ran for governor in 2002. He called the governor in my behalf. Fortunately, Senator Zaffarini's mother and Tony's mom were best friends. Tony Canales, the first Hispanic United States attorney in the Eastern District of Texas, who I had gone to law school, called Senator Zaffarini. Irma Rangel, a very, very close friend of mine, the first Hispanic female to serve in the Texas legislature, also called. And of course, Frank Carrera, who was a very successful personal injury attorney. And from my earlier campaign work, I also had the recommendations of Judge Fred Beery, who is now a U.S. District Judge, Chief Justice Blair Reeves, I had served on his campaign committee, and Saul Ramirez, who at that time was the mayor of Laredo and who just so happened to be married to one of my cousins. My point in all of this is that people who were and are my friends helped me to achieve my dream. And these are the type of friends that you need surrounding you. Third, find a mentor, someone you can look up to and respect, someone who will assist you in reaching your goals, someone who will give you good advice along the way. Especially as you enter the workplace, a mentor will be an invaluable source of information. Your mentor does not necessarily have to be in the same occupation that you choose. Your mentor only needs to have the experience to assist you in making good decisions. And don't ever be afraid to ask for help. Fourth, look for ways to contribute to your community by volunteering. Volunteering will not only give you a sense of accomplishment, but you will meet countless mentors and contacts who may be of assistance to you in the future. You never know that the person, which person you meet will be the one opening doors for you at a later time. And last but not least, something that is close to my heart as an elected official of the 32 counties in which the fourth court serves, exercise your freedom to vote. Freedom is an ideal that most Americans take for granted. We have lots of freedom. Freedom from worrying about where we will sleep tonight and whether we will have food to eat. Freedom from suffering from disease or illness for which no medical care is available or affordable. Freedom from religious prosecution. Freedom from the bondage of slavery. Freedom from wondering about whether we will say something about a dictator who will shoot us and put us in mass graves. Each of our freedoms are important and should be cherished, which is why each of us should exercise our freedom to vote. Our nation has experienced a 40-year negative trend of the percentage of voting age citizens participating in national elections for United States President. And it truly amazes me when you watch television and, for instance, see the people of South Africa who stood in line, some of them, for a day or two days to exercise their right to vote. And there are so many people here that won't even go out in the rain to vote. From a 63% citizen voting participation turnout rate in 1960 to 51% in 2000. This negative trend of voter participation rates occurred despite massive voter registration programs, which increased re uh, registration rates from 59% to 74%, and despite massive campaign spending and TV coverage. As bad as these figures sound, they are even worse for young voters 18 to 24 years of age. In November 1998, the nationwide turnout of young voters was just 15%, a record low. Voter turnout for young voters has declined in every prior election except one since 18 to 20 year olds obtained the right to vote three decades ago. Unfortunately, voter turnout in Texas is just as appalling. 
In 2003, Texas voters were called to the polls to consider 22 amendments to the Texas Constitution. That is 22 amendments to the highest law in the state of Texas. How many Texans do you suppose voted? 11%. Among the 22 amendments was Proposition 12, which sets a $750,000 cap on non-economic damages, such as pain and suffering in medical malpractice lawsuits. Proposition 12 also empowers the legislature to enact caps in other lawsuits. Doctors and business groups argue the limits would stop frivolous lawsuits, out of control jury verdicts, and lower medical malpractice insurance. I don't know if y'all read the paper last week where it has stopped the lawsuits of people who have been hurt, who um, have suffered because of the malpractice of physicians. It has not stopped the rise in the rate of medical malpractice insurance. The insurance companies still keep raising them. Trial lawyers, consumer advocates, and some anti-crime anti groups said the amendment would let negligent people and corporations escape liability. The vote was extremely close. Whichever side of this debate you agree with, everyone should agree that the issue was important for all Texans, not just 11%. Texas has made remarkable strides in making the voting process as painless as possible. Voter registration postcards are available in post offices, libraries, and you normally get one when you go and get a driver's license or change an address on a driver's license. In addition, voter registration applications can be downloaded from the Texas Secretary of State's website. With early voting, you can vote in grocery stores and shopping malls. Voting has become such an easy process that truly no one has an excuse not to exercise this wonderful freedom that we as Americans are blessed to have. Also, the people that have not participated in our system to, to exercise their right to vote, as you sit here today, people that perhaps you did or did not vote for have increased college tuition by over 20% this year. Your president, whoever he may be, has the right to send some of you to war. There are all types of policies that affect you on a daily basis, and yet we have people who think that their vote does not count. So as you graduate at this commencement service, you will face numerous opportunities, and you will be called upon to make numerous choices. Among you, are our future educators, businessmen, politicians, and leaders. Today, you receive your degree. Tomorrow, you commence your adult life. Go out and use your education to make a difference. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Justice Lopez. Tonight's ceremony honors first those graduates who have completed the requirements for the master's degree in their respective fields. The master's degree candidates of the College of Business will be certified by Dean Flanagan. Thank you. Will all master's degree candidates of the College of Business please rise and remain standing? President Romo, it is a privilege to present candidates for the degrees of Master of Business Administration, Master of Science, Master of Arts, and Master of Taxation. Those who stand before you, who have completed all academic requirements, have been recommended by the graduate faculty of the College of Business to receive their respective degrees. Please remain standing. President Romo will confer the master's degree. By virtue of the authority vested by law in the Board of Regents University of Texas system, I now confer upon each one of you the respective academic degrees for which you have been recommended 
with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. And I offer my sincere congratulations. Will the graduates please be seated? To ensure that the graduates' names can be heard clearly as each crosses the stage, we ask that the audience refrain from the use of air horns and other noisemakers. We appreciate your courtesy and consideration for all our graduates and their families. To recognize the bond that exists between faculty and students, Professors from the college will have the honor of investing the hood appropriate to the degree earned to each of the master's degrees recipient in a symbolic ritual of investiture. Will the hooding faculty performing the ceremony for the College of Business please take their place in their designated area? <clears throat> And now will graduates receiving the master's degrees from the College of Business please come forward to be invested with a hood and to receive congratulations from, the, from Dean Flanagan and President Romo. Faculty investing the hood from the College of Business are uh, Dr. Fatali Faruzi, Dr. Kevin Grant, Dr. Cynthia Linknick Hall, Dr. Saeed Magdavi, Dr. Rolando Quintanilla, Dr. Elaine Sanders, Dr. Katsuhiku Shimizu, Dr. Lila Flory Truitt, Dr. Gregory B. White, and Sue Sue. Tracy Lorraine Allen. <laughs> Michelle Renee Anderson. Udapin Arunyaju. Lisa Ann Vanderden. Joseph Edward Beauregard. Samuel Barrios, Jr. Mary Alice Bentoncourt. Ellen Dale Bloom. Michael Bond. Austin Sutton Bradley, Gregory Braun, Brian Keith Brinkley, Marcus Brown, Timothy Charles Bryant, Michael Budiartu, Christy Lane Brashears, James Mac Burkus, Michael Lee Burns, Michael Lee Burns, Essex Keith Campbell. Frank Anthony Carney, Daryl R. Carpenter, Misty Ann Chacon, Michael Hongming Chan, Julie O. Collins, Seth Anderson Cowen, 
Stephen Crafton, Yu Ding, Bernadine Etan, Russell Neil Fail. John Joseph Furencheck, Mary Elizabeth Garcia, Jeffrey Erickson Garvins, Timothy Troy George, Martha Adele Giles, Javier Gobea, Gabriela Gonzalez, Antonio Luis Guerra, Claudia Ann Guzman, Irene Guzman, Anya Humpel, Lindsay Nicole Hansen, Jeffrey Dean Hatfield, Adam Hernandez, Gabriel Hernandez, Corey Rob Hochler. Leticia Olagi Holmbo. Tanawat Sharon Nari. Jerry Jean. Jackie Pulligan Keen. Jacob. Kels, Timothy Peter Copania, Megan Elizabeth Cromer, Candies Larky, Matthew John Lyro, Scott Ellen Liskawa, Thomas John Mansour, <laughs> Cynthia Marie Marshall, Catherine Elaine Martinez, Jason McCormick, John David McKenna, Lance McMahon, Ivan Nogales Muirhead, <laughs> Kathy Neo, <laughs> Kwa Vun Nguyen, <laughs> Ermaine Faith Orta, <laughs> Tommy Ortiz Maldonado. Suprotic Paul, Kim Fon, Brenda Quiroz Enriquez, Monica Ramos, Jane Hodge Rees. Jonathan Eric Richards, Juan Francisco Rodriguez, Eileen Laxamana Sagun, 
Carlos Alfredo Salazar. Gloria Cuevas Sánchez. Marcelo Sanz Sánchez Jr. Ashley Smith. Mark Wayne Stacy. Elizabeth DeFontaine Sterling. Ryan Stone. Julio Cesar Tam. Patrick Arthur Unhock. Maricela Vasquez. David Salvador Velasquez. John Marshall Walker. Donald Welch. Michael Joseph Williams. Larry Morell Wood. Heather Elise Wynn. Yat Heng Yung. Ara Samuel Young. Ming Chi Yu. Li In Sarsabal. Ricardo Suniga Jr. The Hooting faculty from the College of Business may now be seated. Dean Bublitz will certify the baccalaureate degree candidates of the College of Business. Will all baccalaureate degree candidates of the College of Business please rise and remain standing? <laughs> President Romo. Upon recommendation of the faculty of the College of Business, I certify to you that the candidates standing before you who have completed all academic requirements are entitled to receive their degrees. Please remain standing. President Romo will confer the baccalaureate degree. Thank you, Dean Bublitz. By virtue of the authority vested by law in the Board of Regents University of Texas system, I now confer upon each one of you the respective academic degrees for which you have been recommended. With all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto, and I offer my sincere congratulations. Please be seated. Crossing the stage first to receive their diplomas in each college will be the summa cum laude graduates, followed by the magna cum laude graduates, followed by the cum laude graduates. These honor graduates wear the gold cord to recognize the excellence each has demonstrated in her or his academic pursuits. Note that honors designation had not been uh, determined for the August graduates who are participating in tonight's ceremony. Their names and appropriate honor designations will be listed in the December graduation program. 
Faculty members representing the College of Business and their department colleagues will congratulate the baccalaureate students. Will the representatives of the College of Business please take their place in the designated areas? Will all graduates of the College of Business please come forward to receive their diplomas and be congratulate, congratulated by Dean Bublitz and President Romo. At this ceremony, a posthumous degree is being awarded to Jason L. Barnes in recognition of the efforts expended while he lived. Faculties congratulating uh, baccalaureate students from the College of Business are Dr. Thomas F. Cannon, Dr. Juan Gonzalez, Dr. John Merrifield, Dr. Richard Pina, Jr., Dr. Pamela Smith, Dr. Iman Su, Ms. Linda Vallejo, Dr. Kenneth Weir, and Dr. Karen Williams. The following are receiving bachelor's degrees in the College of Business. They are graduating with the honor summa cum laude. Michael Shane Ballou, summa cum laude. Michaeline Nadine Cruz, summa cum laude. April Lynn Zansky, summa cum laude. Tamara Marie Finley, summa cum laude. Sandra A. Gomez, summa cum laude. Matthew Morgan Harrison, summa cum laude. Carolina Hefner, summa cum laude. Larice Chantel Levitas, summa cum laude. Con Mi Tai Nguyen, summa cum laude. Debra Sepulveda, summa cum laude. Kevin Wayne Albright, magnum cum laude. The following are receiving bachelor's degrees in the College of Business are graduating with uh, the honor magna cum laude. Kep Amber D. Badell, magna cum laude. Veronica Ramirez Castro, magna cum laude. Jerónimo Gonzalez, Jr., Magnum Cum Laude. Chris Ellen Groff, Magnum Cum Laude. Rebecca Kathleen Lively, Magnum Cum Laude. Joseph Jason Murillo, Magnum Cum Laude. Ramey Nell, Magnum Cum Laude. Cynthia Al Alicia Rickman, Magnum Cum Laude. Marcus Anthony Valerio, Magnum Cum Laude. Philip Wagner, Magnum Cum Laude. Horace Allen Zachary, Magnum Cum Laude. The following are receiving bachelor's degrees in the College of Business. They're graduating with the honor cum laude. Philip Raymond Archer III, cum laude. Christina Renee Bender, cum laude. 
Magdalena Bracknecker, cum laude. Oscar Jaime Cordona, cum laude. Courtney Ann Coffey, cum laude. Random Andrew Conrad, cum laude. Eugene Diaz, cum laude. Jeffrey Ellen Escamilla, cum laude. Elizabeth Ann Espinosa, cum laude. Dong Hao, cum laude. Sean Roderick Hoskin, cum laude. Richard James Jensen, cum laude. George Elton Jones, cum laude. Amanda May Martin, cum laude. Henry Martinez, cum laude. Juan Martinez, cum laude. Luisa Morgner, cum laude. Melissa Ann Mungia, cum laude. Megan Beth Murphy, cum laude. Craig Ellen Neswich, cum laude. John Ersel Pete II, cum laude. Charles Vernon Pfeiffer III, cum laude. Bonnie Elizabeth Russell, cum laude. Sarah Saadi, cum laude. Jordana Lucia Sierra, cum laude. Jolie Sinks, cum laude. Joshua Stevens, cum laude. Brett Harvey Veal, cum laude. Jennifer Lee White, cum laude. Ina Alexandra Setsevia, cum laude. Yvonne Deshawn Smith, cum laude. The following are receiving bachelor's degrees in the College of Business. Ashley Ray Octoberg. <laughs> Melissa Aguilar. <laughs> Debbie Lopez Aguili Aguilera. Catherine Aiken. Catherine Aiken. <laughs> Gloria Alanis. Abdul Rahman Al Emadi, Ramiro Aleman Jr., Barbara Ann Alfaro, Saud Mohammed Al Khan, Steve Alvarado. Jennifer Michelle Alvarez. Charles Warren Anderson. John B. Angeles. Brandon John Antle. Scott 
Gordon Armstrong. Armstrong. Elvia A. Arzola. Isa Atuan Valladares. Corrine Elizabeth Austin. Maribel Aviles. Martha Jean Babb. Charles Robinson Ballou. Victoria Maria Barrera. Christy Beer. Amanda Bernice Belcher. Natalie Benavides. Carlos Manuel Benitez. Richard Alexander Benitez. Joshua Aaron Bennett. Anthony Berlanga. Matthew Wayne Berry. Rebecca Diane Bidiger. Roxanne Bond. Joshua James Boreen. Jennifer Michelle Boyd. Daniel Richard Bump. Sasha Marie Burke. Chase Burnside. Marisa Sarah Cañez. Mark Richard Caraveo. Kristen Leigh Carson. Stacy Michelle Carter. Oscar Castaneda III. Adonis Gallo Castillo II. Richard Cavazos. William Cayetano. Luigi Sestari. Chastity Chapa. Mark Harold Christens. Candy Coble. Joshua Cohn. Albert Thomas Contreras Jr. Paul E. Cordero. Juan Carlos Coronado. OCL Castillo. Johnny Cohen. McKinley Coward III. Tamara K. Criswell. Rochelle Marie Crouch. Lonnie Cross. Jose Manuel Cruz. Joanna Correll. Angela Da Costa. Benjamin Davila.
Brandies Jean Nicole Davis. Denise Deanda. Jessica Diane Dimmer. Alexandria Lynn Deschensky. Harlan Bedford Dews. Monica Diaz. Anastasia. Anastasia Anderson Dominguez. Stephen Eric Dominguez. Dallas Douglas. Adam Dean Draney. Andrea Marie Dreyer. Melinda Gail Dunis. Stephen Frank Dewar. Amy Kathleen Earthman. Christy Ann Aston. Jack Edwards. Elizabeth Elizondo. Dalel El Cadri. Daniel Adan Escarcega. Chase Jacob Blas Falcon. Wayne Curtis Fought. Karina Ivan Fierro. Alisa Nicole Fisk. Stephanie Ray Flack. Maxine Arredondo Flores. Dawn Marie Florida. Tony Forenash. Uh, Maria Guadalupe Fragosa. Eric Fryer. Ra Rachel Catherine Fuchs. Eduardo Fuentes. Justin James Fultz. Homero Garcia. Isaac Garcia. Joseph Anthony Garcia. Luis Eduardo Garcia. Maria Esperanza Garcia. Mercedes Garcia. Oswaldo Garcia. Victor Alfonso Garcia. Sergio Olivia Gardia. Claudio Alejandro Garza. Elisa Garza. Luis Garza III. Melida Garcia. Melida Maria Garza. Edward Thomas Gatsert. George Gavia. Wow. 
Eduardo Gosso. Andy's Keith Gobel. Kyle B. Godwin. <coughs> Michael Brandon Getz. Ricardo Gomez Jr. Maria Isabel Gongora. Shone Riley Gonzalez. Maritza Gonzalez. Valerie N. Gonzalez. Susan Grant. Charlene Languida Gray. Kelly Gray. Michelle Gray. Reinaldo Guerrero. Caroline Christy Guevara. Nicole John Gillermat. Alice Lee Gutierrez. Andrew Peter Gutierrez. Brian Carlos Gutierrez. Jimmy Gutierrez. Lucia Gutierrez. Uh, Martha Gutierrez. Julio Cesar Gutierrez. Adam Richard Guzman. Wiley Highgood. Jason Scott Hamill. Marjorie Nicole Harrell. Linda Marie Hatchett. Holly Marie Hatfield. Tracy Michelle Hauser. Aaron Michelle Hayes. Nicole Marie Hyman. Jorge Hernandez. Yvette Michelle Hernandez. Abraham Herrera. Alberto Javier Herrera. Richard Herrera. Ruskin Caleb. Ruskin Caleb Herrera. Robin Lee Hayen. Matthew Albert Hickey. Walter Hidalgo. Teresa Marie Hill. Michelle Irene Hobbs. David Daniel House. Joseph Houston. Chris Howard.
Benka Margo Ronis. Cindy Louis Hudson. April Jeanette Hebner. Annette Ibanez. Belinda Briones Hidrogo. Edna Rodriguez Iglesia. Philip Rael Johnson, Jackson. Scott Thomas Jackson. Song Jing. Eric Paul Jaramillo. Robert Matthew Hasso. Jamala Jean Jenkins. Graciela Jimenez. Leah Marie Johnson. Jeremy Jones. Lamont Cleveland Jones. Jennifer Leigh Jordan. Elaine Juarez. Robert Kager. Uh, Salman Bader Kaksau. Patrick O. Canapi. Jeremy Nugent Carney. Austin Jean Kelly. Michael Adam Kennedy. Christopher Lee Keys. Brian Keith Kinlaw. Miosha Chance. Dustin Kologis. Michael David Kuzel. Sarah Shirley Lamonts. Oscar Leon. Jeffrey August Levine. Diana Janiu. John Gabriel Lopez. Johnny Lopez. Sergio Lopez. Michelle Annette Lucas. Cynthia Ramon Luna. Lorraine Rebecca Lynch. L Lindsay Ryan Mahaney. Sanjay Nadi. Mabubain. Lara Elizabeth Mancini. Renato Marquez. Stephanie Ann Marriott. 
Jason Paul Martinez. Sandra Maribel Martinez. Sean Paul Massey. Mary Matthew. This one. Mary Matsuda. Octavio Maya. Sarita Nicole McVeigh. Angelica Medina Leal. Elizabeth Menchaca. Gloria Menchaca. Felix Mendez the third. Rodolfo Mendez. Isela Mendoza. Loretta Lopez Mendoza. Daniel Meyer. Amanda Lynn Miller. David James Melis. Edward Mireles. Mark Christopher Mitchell. Sonia Megan Monahan. Marcy Elaine Moody. Jonathan Nicholas Moore. Jace, Jacob Daniel Moreno. Mario Oscar Moreno. Amy Morgan. Bradley Charles Mummy. Nicholas Brooke Murray. Y Yuki Nakamura. Uh, Walid Nasur. Christina Margaret Nixon. Melissa Lee Noel. Jeffrey Todd Norman. Manuel Pais Nuncio. Noel Olguin. Isabel Olivo. Joseph Morris Olson. Laura Jane Olveda. Manuel Ordaz. Jorge Alberto Orozco. Yvette Orozco. Jeffrey Michael Ortego. Alicia Ann Ortiz. Kelly Ann Austin. Michael Allen Overland. Kwong Ng Pak Nichols. Terry Mendez Prado. Pardo. Michelle Parker. Michelle Parker. Russell Scott Parker. Travis James Paul. 
Rodrigo Peña. Hilario Pérez. Y Yajira Pérez. José Ángel Pérez. Nathan Pérez. Adam Wayne Piotrowski. Jose Ricardo Pons. Ashley Marie Porfilio. Brian Pratt. Lindsay May Prescott. Charles Daniel Robbie. Rain, Rainwater. Holly Michelle Rainwater. Crystal Cecilia Ramirez. To sell Angelica Ramirez. Esila Ramirez. Jesse Ramirez. Juan Carlos Ramirez. Lisa Michelle Ramirez. Vanessa Ramirez. Valerie Ann Ramon. Emmanuel Castillo Rivaldo. Jennifer Rees. Sean Christopher Reed. John Daniel Riley. <laughs> Stephanie Marie Randon. Sonia Retana Vasquez, Carolyn Road, Misty Robin Roberts, Erika Marie Rodriguez, Georgiana Rodriguez, Jonathan Daniel Rodriguez. Laura D. Rodriguez. Miguel Ivan Rodriguez. Shelly Ra Raquel Marie Rodriguez. Vicky Rodriguez. Ricky Lynn Rogers. Kristen Dario Roland. Laura Lee Romero. Ross Joseph Rothenthal. Francisco Ruiz. Abel Salazar. Cristina Noel Salazar. Claudia Salinas. Kimberly Jean Salinas. Paul Anthony Salinas. Tatiana Salinas. Alejandra Nicolette Sanchez. Diane Santiago. Gerardo Santiago III. 
Daniel Sauceda. Chris Schwartz Jr. Roxanne Valerie Seda. Pamela Scheuer. Monica Silva. Charles Sistrunk. Carly Ann Smith. Jessica Lee Snitkoff. Elena. Alegna Lee Summers. Joshua Charles Speed. Glenn Spencer. Margaret Beth Spencer. Adam Dean Springer. Yvonne Steele. Ashley Stewart, Karen Elaine Stewart, Teresa Ann Stoughton, Audrey Marie Suarez, Mario, Mario Alexander Tanches. Ralph Matias Tapia, Wilbert Tejeda, Francisco Gabriel Tellez, Francisco Gabriel Tellez. Stuart Ricardo Tepechin, Stuart Ricardo Tepechin. Sarah Tewani. Tanya Tambay. Patrick Nathan Trebager. Terry Treadwell. Jessica Carolina Trejo. Carly Trevino. Jennifer Lynn Troger. Denise Marie Uloa. Bradley Charles Urbansic. Bradley Charles Urbansic. Hector Anthony Valadez. Luis Alberto Valdez. Nadia Valdez. Rosa Valero. Jennifer Lynn Vara. Angela Varney. Lori N. Vasquez. Ricardo Roberto Vasquez. Natalie Joe Velasco. Kristen A. Veselka. Kristen A. Veselka. Olitha Latrice Vicks. Olitha Latrice Vicks. Anna E. Vieira. Veronica Vigil. Parla Ether Vialpando. Roberto Carlos Vialta. Vanessa Lesset Navarro. Pedro Villarreal Jr. Christine Vu. Christine Vu. Walt Thal. 
Keith Ellen Walthall, Eric Dean Ivan Warm, Rosaline McCauley Warren, Billy Weichel, Dantes Terrell Weary, Rachel Science White, Your card. Come here. Come here. Whitney. Christopher Whitney. Christopher Whitney. Sean Gregory Whitrek. Jason Wiederstein. Scott. Ryan Wilford, Kyle Adam Wiley, Kristen Lynn Williams, Oliver Stephen Williamson, Michael Wadi Wiedek, Laura Lee Wall, Douglas Allen Wolf, Robert Russell Woodard, Mindy Michelle Woodward, Christina Agatha, Agatha Zachariadis, Marcus Andrew Sambrano. Ariane Samo, Stephanie Christine Solik, Karina Garza, Richard Allen, Faculty greeters from the College of Business may return to their seats. To signify a rite of passage and graduation from the University of Texas at San Antonio, will the graduates please shift the tassel on their mortarboard to the left side? Congratulations. For those of you who have purchased a UTSA ring, now is the time to take it off and turn it around having the insignia face outwardly to the rest of the world. Show that you're now a proud alumnus of UTSA. Congratulations. Thank you. I now ask you to stand and join Salina Hernandez as she leads us in singing the UTSA alma mater.
Will the audience please be seated? We ask that all guests please remain seated until the graduates have left the Convocation Center. We invite all graduates and their guests to join the faculty and staff of the college in a reception following this commencement ceremony. The reception will be held at the University Center and will be hosted by the UTSA Alumni Association and the College of Business. Southwest High School Mariachi Group will provide the reception music. We ask all guests to exit through the South Foyer. Now will the University Marshals take up the maze and the Faculty Marshals retrieve the College Manor and lead the graduates in the recessional. This signifies the conclusion of the University May 2004 commencement ceremony.